Yo, I was thinking, right? When a person say that they don't believe in God or Jesus Christ, rather, preferably Jesus Christ. When a person they don't say don't they don't believe in Jesus Christ or oh Jesus Christ is a white man when they say that. Now, there's there's a certain percentage out there that I believe who are lost, who are raised in to believe Jesus is a white man, but celebrate Christmas, July 4th, Independence Day, July 4th, 1774, your people were still enslaved. So what are you popping firecrackers for? Okay. Pretty lost, right? Um, and then you just read in gestures from them. Because you don't want to pass judgment, you want to give righteous judgment. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to a point of um, righteous judgment, an example of that would be like if I was to go and choose a woman to be with, to hopefully settle down with. I'm going to have to judge her. I'm going to look at her resume. Look at like, wait a minute, okay, mine. I'm going to have to judge the whole situation for myself. I'm not judging her for what she did. You know what I'm saying? I'm judging her for who she are. Righteously. Because this is what I'm trying to do. And I can't pick a hooker. You know, but anyway. Some people don't get the judgment. The righteous judgment part. So you're just going to pick a woman. And then that's when you know. Yeah, they're divorcing because of. Um, 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 promiscuity. For being a cheater. Promiscuous or whatever. The infidelity rather. Famous Mari uh, word. But anyway. Um, so when the person say they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Because he's white. They don't have the truth. And it's all about how they listen to the truth. Are they open for the truth? You know what I'm saying? Are they struggling with it? Are they cutting you off as you talk? If they're cutting you off as, as you talk, you know they full of it. You know, they know the truth. They're just rebelling because they're scared of coming to the truth. That's why the God said in his word, he said, A wicked person flees when nobody chase. So that's why he said, The wicked flee seven ways from you right all you gotta do is be still the word of God they run because they know it's true but they rebelling because of something and they have to come back to truth so when God says when one sinner repent for his sins angels in heaven rejoice because they know it's one hell of a thing to be in because this goes from generation to generation all the way back to the uh, Old Testament when Moses was reading off, uh, he was preaching the word or whatever. He was he hid the uh, glory with a veil on his face. You know what I'm saying? And people was um, confused when they was hearing the word. Like even to this day, they are confused. They talking about the Old Testament. So you talking so much about the Old Testament? That means you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You don't believe Jesus Christ came. You talking about Jesus? Why you don't believe in Jesus? And you celebrate Christmas? But the Pharisees, which is quote-unquote black people, brought up Jesus Christ, another quote-unquote black person, Judah, to the quote-unquote white government to be sacrificed. Quote-unquote white government didn't find anything wrong with Jesus Christ, and they demanded that he be crucified by the government, by the quote-unquote white government. But you don't believe in a white Jesus, even if it was a white Jesus. Maybe if it really was a white Jesus, you'll submit to him because you submit to the government. You're going out voting every time, okay? Maybe it's something that I don't understand on that. So then that's what somebody got to come and break that down to me. Because I understand bond servants, slaves, spiritually, and all that. Truth shall set you free. You know what I'm saying? So if it's all about building, coming about with the truth, let's do this, man. Okay. Now. Don't leave me in the dark on something and you see I'm wrong or could be corrected. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going off scripture. Now, I'm not saying everything in there is correct. Because God said whoever takes from this word, he's taking their life out of the book of life. And whoever adds to the, the word, he's going to add the plans of revelation to their life. You know what I'm saying? So whether someone's taken in, taken from there, added to it, I'm not sure. I just know what he said. You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching everything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, you know, giving righteous 
uh, judgment and discernment on those things. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know, my point is pretty much when the person say they don't believe in Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, try to understand why. Some people may feel like they've been molested as a kid. You know, they were sent through the fire as a kid and now they hurt and got to put up with the same government that's been killing them for years due to the 400 years enslavement due to the curse God put on those people for what they were doing over there in Egypt. You know, incest, raping, murder, bowing down to idols, just disobeying all the commandments that go to rule all that. You know, so it was just on my mind and I'm thinking as I walk like, maybe, wait a minute, some people can actually be saved. Now, we have to be careful about throwing our pearl, casting our pearls before swine. Pearl is some, a pearl is a precious, it's some real precious, right? And, wow, check that out. It's some precious, and it comes from a, a, a seashell. Um, and you think a seashell is acclimated to water, a large mass of water. And when God seen the earth, he seen that it was void, and his spirit hovered over the water, right? It was darkness, it was void. And then he said, um, when they cut Jesus in the side, water came out. I'm just connecting these things. Water came out of the side. So, okay, pearls, don't cast a pearl before swine. Pearls are some precious. Pearls are found in the uh, water because they're really seashells. Do the math. They're seashells. And something about uh, a seashell maybe um, having them out or somehow it comes from out of a seashell, right? Bam. And then that's when it goes to a seashell is in the water and a large mass of water. You know, God said, you know, uh, 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 if you drink from the water that I give you to the good Samaritan, if you drink from the water I give you, you will never thirst again. <laughs> then when they cut them on the, on the side with the, uh, with the knife or whatever the case may be, they poked them in the side, um, water came out and not blood. Okay, that's that. So the next thing that comes to mind is a son naturally takes his father's name. Why? When they do a paternity test, they have to test the father's blood. You know what I'm saying? Because the father is the head. So the kid is going to have their father's blood. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is a spring of living water. When people are in a dry place, the Spirit is what gives, is what, is what hydrates them. It brings them back to life. Think of Captain Planet. Whenever he was laid flat, he was defeated, they poured water on him or they dumped him in the water, he right back to life. Right back to life. So a person can be spiritually dead. God said, I'll put a new spirit and new heart in you. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. You're not big, you, you're not big and bad. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing new under the sun. Believe in my name. Believe in my son that I sent to die for you. Just don't curse the Holy Spirit. I got you. Don't worry about it. You kill people? Okay. You ask for forgiveness? I feel in your spirit that you're praying from the spirit in the heart. That you have reverence. That you're really sorry about it. I would not remember that. God, this is God. Would not remember that when you get to heaven. It's not even going to be in the book. I'm not going to remember your sins no more. Because I forgive you. That's his word. He's not a liar. He's a great, magnificent, merciful, graceful God. Understand that. So that's why we have to even. He said even if the person next to you. Me, somebody next to me, sins against me seven times in a day, and each time comes to me asking for forgiveness, I gotta forgive him. He said, No, 70 times 70. You know what I'm saying? 
if you want God to forgive you and you don't forgive the people next to you or you don't love the people that's next to you, how can you love God that you've never seen before? You don't even love the people that's next to you. You don't even love your son, your daughter, your cousin. You know what I'm saying? Feed them with a long spoon is different. You still love them, but you know that they're not right and they got to get right in order to accept the truth because right now they're going off a lot. Smear, smear campaigns, propaganda, you know what I'm saying? Controversy, you know, ignorance, you know what I'm saying? And to some, ignorance is bliss. Okay, you know, so, you know, it's only begotten son. You know, so it's only right that the son is going to have the spirit in him. The spirit hovered over, my, uh, over Mary and um, a virgin and had immaculate conception because she was a virgin and still had a baby. You know what I'm saying? And then when he was baptized, the heavens opened up. And then that's when um, God was like, this is my son and whom I am well pleased. And then that's when the light came and shined on Jesus Christ. And he just started snapping from then. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Okay, that's something I got to check. You know what I'm saying? Whether he was doing miracles before or after then. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's what I got to check. Got to check that, so don't quote me on that. Because I don't want to give or add away to the word. Yeah, so when a person come across saying, you know, Jesus is white, you can point out to him the description of him. And then we got so many things out here that we can look at as, as far as proof that God does exist. He's everywhere. He said, there's not going to be a reason for you to say, I don't exist. I'm the tree. You understand what I'm saying? The tree. Hair like wool, right? So when the hair grows out, it's like an afro, right? So, how you doing? Thank you. All right. So beautiful. Nice teeth. You know, so when you look at a tree, right? You look at a tree, it reminds you of like an afro, right? Look at a tree, it reminds you of an afro. Now picture a tree like this one here. This one here, right? This tree here. You see the sticks, right? Has some say Yahweh because of every every last one of them has a Y. It's a good idea, right? So when it comes to that point, um, you have a person that bears fruit in the sense of good fruit of the spirit and those of evil, right? So then you have, say like the hairs, when you poke it, like the little hairs, there's on your head, they stick out. These are the heads, you know what I'm saying? From the afro. And then when it rains, the water comes up and gives life, oxygen, to the um, to the leaves. So when it comes to a point of um, bearing fruit, what you feed your body. You're going to come out patience, love, endurance, compassion. You're feeding yourself a lot of negative stuff, evil, impatient, immoral, ungodly, you know, things of that nature. So when it comes to a point of, see the same design that this makes, and you see the weather, right? So when the lightning strikes, it has the same design as this, right? So when you look at the veins in your body, they have the same design as this, right? The same design as this. And the lightning, when it strikes, it's an electric current. And around God's strong is thunder and lightning all over. All over in the strong, right? And... Um, you know, um, yeah, you know, so that's pretty much it. Oh, the nervous system is pretty much like the, the little sticks in the uh, tree, branches or whatever. And then when the lightning strikes, it's the same thing, you know. So some would say as above, so below. I don't say that because I don't really know what meaning that is. It's obvious, right? But it becomes a situation where, okay, you know, there's physical body on earth. There's spiritual 
coming from the most high. Everything makes sense. This body is made to live on this earth. You know what I'm saying? From dust, from dirt we come to dirt we go right back to it, right? So this body is here for the earth and everything just makes sense. So the scientists cannot prove that God don't exist. Huh? How about that? Let's switch it around on it. They say God, there is no God, but prove that he don't exist. Huh? You know, we know there is a God. So it'd be hard for you to say that. Because look at this. Let's look at the smallest facts. Ants and all this stuff, you know, it becomes a point where, you know, that's when you just got to be more in depth and just break stuff down to a person for things that they can see. Because the person that's not blessed, they can't see nor hear. So you, they have to see, and then you have to tell them, like, yeah, or paint a good picture for them. And when you paint that picture for them, bam. But you got to stick with them because, you know, you have people who fall by the wayside, and you got people who get strangled by the tears. You know, people who fall by the wayside is the one who gets scared when Satan comes right up behind you after you just drop knowledge in a port into their life, so seeds in their life, and, and, and they fall by the wayside, you know what I mean, because of temptation, you know what I'm saying? Or they get caught up in the tears because when Satan comes around and put people around them, now they back smoking and they back drinking, and he pulls them right back down just before they get a chance to get delivered. And they can be so close to being delivered. So close. You know, it don't take long because God wants you. He said he wished that nobody perish. So it's only right for him to be really fast and forgiving you. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to stay deep and fast and humble, steadfast in the word. He wished that you were hot or cold, not lukewarm. Because if you're cold, you're solid. Bacteria cannot get in there. Can't no bacteria or nothing disease. Uh, disasters can come in and contaminate me and my scripture and my word. If I'm hot, I'm not hot on a, can't nothing get close. It's like having food on a table. Anything above 140 degrees, you all good. Anything in between 40 and 140, no good. It's bacteria. Organisms grow. You know what I'm saying? Pathogens and stuff like that. You know, so push kind of shove. Um, yeah. You know, so we have to be more loving, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's most evil times, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? We're reaching that point, you know, and you want to be able to save somebody, you know, use your experience to um, speak about the good news of God, how God has kept you, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be my next thing because he kept me through so much, you know what I'm saying? I can't help but to be grateful that I'm still alive.